Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas. This is Awesome Wood Things. I made this shadow box display case for my Dave & Buster's collectible Star Trek cards. I won this at a coin pusher recently, and I wanted a way to display them, and I just love it. This is my absolute favorite project I have ever put together. There's even a mirrored Star Trek logo on the back because the back of the cards have something on it too. So if you kind of look between, you can just see the backside. I will show you how I made it. Stick around. It's awesome. The fun starts with some spray adhesive. I add this to the mirrored acrylic plastic and then head over to the scroll saw. Scroll saw work is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. When there's a corner, I try and make the best decision as to where I spin the workpiece. If it's a gradual corner, I'll spin it. If it's a harsh corner, I'll come at it directly. Looks good. I haven't decided what's more difficult, straight lines or curves. They're both challenging, as a matter of fact. And then some letters I need to take over to the drill press to get the middle started. Here's a good example of the gentle corner and the tight corner. So I'll turn it here and come at it there. After the scroll saw work, I'll focus on the woodworking. I bring the blade to half the height of this board. Ultimately, I need to remove half of this material on most of the board. That will be done on the router table but ripping this groove is a safety feature. It will also let the sawdust escape. So here I'm on the router table and noticed how the side of the router bit closest to the fence is floating in air. That's what I want. You don't want the blade to grab the workpiece and have it get away from you. So then I just move the fence each operation always having the side closest to the fence floating in air until I get the distance that I want. Then I set a chamfer bit. It's very subtle, but I chamfer these edges. That'll look nice. Now I rip everything down to length. That block helps me rip the second board to the exact same distance as the first. And that's important here, I check it with my fingers. This is a dangerous operation. I held it really tight, please be careful. Now I remove the unwanted pieces and I have the shape that I want. That's my final shape. Now it's time to glue the frame together. I use a piece of tape and 2P10 thick CA glue. This CA glue is amazing. A little bit of activator makes it set very fast. There about three seconds after you spray it, it is permanent. And these came together so nice. This might be the most perfect picture frame I ever did. I'm really impressed. Now remember, there's a mirror feature, so I wanted part of this black because you would be able to see it through the mirrors. Now I turn my attention to the glass, and this is not the correct way to do it. However, it works for me, so I'm going to keep doing it this way. And I need two of those pieces. I don't cut them both on camera. Now I work on a thin box that goes on the inside. You need a way to force the glass forward and this is my solution. Again, I take the 2P10 CA glue and just glue everything up. And this is the exact dimension that will fit inside the box. I'll do a test fit 
and that's perfect. Now everything will stay together. Here I add the cards to one of the panes of glass. I use double-sided tape on the back. And here's the backer board. So I cut that down to size. I spray it with some primer, let that dry, and then come back with spray paint. And then I add the letters. And I'm using the logo printout to make sure the letter spacing is perfect. After all of the spacing is perfect, I'm ready for a test fit. And it just fits right in there. I use this thing, I'm not sure what it's called, but it keeps everything in place. And then I'm done. I just love it. Some of these cards are foil stamped. Those are the much more rare cards. I didn't get foil stamped versions of everything, but I might go back and play some more. Who wants to join me at Dave and Buster's? Let me know in the comments. I just love it. It's the best thing I've ever created. I hope you like it. I have been posting build videos at a much faster pace. The support on Patreon really helps. Consider donating to keep this fast pace going. Thanks, Internet.